when I when I heard the news about Ed, um, him being someone that I played with and someone who I was only on holiday with a few weeks before, um, it hits you pretty hard and it definitely strikes you close to the home. Obviously, we're close as a club because of Kevin and what he does for Rob. Um, but for me now, being someone who is who is so close and knowing his family as well, it, it hits home hard. So got to step things up now and, and really do what we can to, like I say, raise money, uh, raise awareness and just keep chipping in and, and doing our, our thing. I think for Ed to, to do something like this and for everyone to be here and get behind him is the most important thing and I think rugby is a real community and, um, you know, he's a part of the Leicester Tigers for many years and um, I think the whole, everyone in the Premiership, everyone in the rugby wider community wants to get behind Ed because um, I feel like Rob Burrow, a bit like obviously Doddy Weir, um, you know, people see the effects of this disease and they want to do whatever they can to support and help and, um, and being here today and, and, you know, I look forward to, to when he comes through on the bike. Yeah, I think you know, he's obviously going to go through some really difficult times, uh, but the more that people show the support, show that they care, you know, I've seen first stand with Rob, the difference it can make and, um, you know, when you've been in that dressing room for the length of time, Ed has, and you rely on those friendships and bonds that you create over a period of time um, they're so important now when you know people are in some adversity and you look after each other so uh, it's great to see what the Gloucester boys are doing it's great to be here today to welcome them him welcome them in and there's a bit of a crowd behind us which is fantastic so um, and it's wonderful what they're all doing but obviously Ed is another champion who we'll all get behind <laughs>